officially move in day and now I'm gonna show you guys an empty room tour. It literally looks like a nice hotel. Might as well get some like nicer things. There's literally no place to walk. Hey guys, happy August 4th. It is officially move-in day. I'm moving into my sorority house and I literally could not be more excited. I vlogged yesterday and I told you guys like I almost started crying thinking about it because I'm just so excited about it. So I just wanted to give you guys like a little backstory. Basically like freshman year I said oh my god never would I ever live in a sorority house. Never would I ever share a room like I've never shared a room before and just the thought of it kind of scared me just because I have so much shit of my own. I was like how how does everything fit in a room like how do you just do your own stuff kind of thing I don't know but then I lived in an off-campus apartment with um, Laura and we had a two by two so two bedrooms two bathrooms I loved living with my best friend it was so much fun but going from like living with three other people from summer B um, was kind of a big difference because when she wouldn't be home I would be home and I'd be so lonely and there was no other person to like knock on their door and say hi like let's hang out type thing. So moving into story house is like kind of that but like a little bit more overwhelming like you have what is it 23 other people to like hang out with and like it's gonna be so much fun I'm never gonna be alone and I'm that type of person that never wants to be alone and because I'm so far from home I mean it's not really that far I lived in Georgia but you know far enough for me um I feel like I tend to get really homesick like not having people around me like if I'm alone I just start to think of like home Ryan my dog my family my hometown and it gets me like really in this weird funk so I think that like being surrounded by people, being surrounded by productive people, inspiring people will definitely like help me out and just make me in like an all over better mood. So I'm really excited for this new like chapter of my college career, I guess. It's like gonna be super different and I just really never thought this day would come. But um, another little backstory, I am on council so you are expected to live in the house if you are on council. But obviously I knew before I joined council I had to live in the house so I knew what I was getting myself into and over time like I kind of like talked myself into it and I'm so glad I did. I think my biggest reason for not living in the house was that Ryan was in a different state and if he ever came and visited me like where would he stay type thing and that kind of sucks that I made like that judgment whether not to like have an experience because of my boyfriend. I mean I love him but like there's other ways to like get around it and I've definitely like found other ways like for instance we're staying in an airbnb right now and it's not like too crazy expensive i mean obviously like it was nice to not have to pay for somewhere to stay for him but it's all good i mean i'm saving so much money in rent by living in the sorority house that i'll have like a little extra money to like stay in an airbnb for two nights it's not gonna be that bad and i plan on going home a lot more than him coming here so freshman year i was the assistant for the vice president of public relations so at that point, I kind of knew that if I got this position, I'd be living in the house and I was the only assistant, so I kind of like had a feeling I would get the position, but I'm really happy that I am like taking on the ex experience. So. so today I'm gonna take you guys in the house with me on move-in day and it's gonna be probably chaotic because I have so much stuff. Like, I kind of want to scream thinking about it. It's like all the stuff in my car and then all the stuff in my storage. It's just so much stuff. Um, but I have like faith that it's going to all fit in somehow. And if it doesn't, then I need to get rid of stuff. And that's, that's that. I feel like I didn't even vlog, but last night I went to Lara's, my old apartment, and I got my dolly, so that will make moving a lot easier. And thank God I'm on the first floor because I don't know what I would do if I had to like bring everything up the stairs. But I'm so excited to see all my friends, all my sisters, and especially my roommate Charlotte. She's like my best friend and Katie. Me and Charlotte kind of like bought stuff online. Like we bought like a really cute blush pink blanket and then like her duvet comforter type thing i think that's it like maybe like a pillow or something but we're gonna wait and see like what we need on the walls and like what decor we really want so it's been hard waiting because i've been like always on pinterest this whole summer like looking at bedroom decor um but 
it's okay i think it's gonna be worth the wait hey guys so i just checked in i got my keys and everything and now i'm gonna show you guys an empty room tour charlotte actually like moved um like pretty much all her stuff in because there was like an early move-in date um so she has like a lot of her stuff in but basically it's empty because it's not decorated so here we go okay so this is our room nice hardwood floors and everything very beautiful very beautiful then on this side this is charlotte's side obviously you see all her stuff there we have like a desk seat like a lot of really deep drawers which is like awesome like even in like the dorms at ucf their drawers were like the best things ever because they were so like deep and you would pull them all out um and then we have the bathroom over there and then that's her closet it's like in the wall but as you can see <laughs> my closet is off the wall which is kind of weird different but it's all good. It's cool. Yeah, I have like this really cool thing up here to put stuff in. Yeah. With your house and I'm gonna need. Roswell. What? With your house in Roswell, you have this thing under your desk. Oh yeah. Ooh, you know what I could do? I could like make this my filming background. Like, what if I just like moved like a cool desk like right here? You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Like, if I moved a cool desk right there and like put like a light and like stuff like that, and then just like filmed on this white background, that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, so then we have that, then I have my desk. We wanted our, both our desks to be like side by side, but unfortunately it didn't fit and that sucks. But the mini fridge is probably gonna go right there. I'm gonna try to make it look prettier, like maybe buy some like sheer things to go on it. I don't know, it just doesn't really look that cute over there. So, oh, what is that? Who is this? Oh my God, it's Charlotte. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Okay, how's your progress going? Um, I have it. I literally just got in, no, hence my vlogging camera. I'm doing an empty. I said I just got in, hence the camera. I'm doing an empty apartment tour. <laughs> okay, so back to the room tour. So to show you guys what I meant by like deep drawers, as you can see, it like pulls all the way out. So that's really nice because the ones at my house back home do not, and it's really annoying. So then these are, wait, no, maybe they're the same size. They are, but like, I just feel like they're a lot deeper. They're a lot wider too, you know? Anyways, I have a lot of space for t-shirts and all my miscellaneous stuff. Ugly mini fridge that obviously we need in our lives. But now we can talk about the light fixture. This lighting is so bad. How am I ever gonna take selfies in here? <laughs> oh my God, I did so, not say that. <laughs> I took it off. I felt bad it was before. Like, yeah, show them the difference. I took off this thing. Make like this light bulb doesn't work. Yeah, one like if you can't really see it because it's so bright. Let me see if I can darken it. Okay, yeah. You can see that this one's like literally from the 50s and doesn't have any light in it. And then this one's well, like the cool spiral working. one that like actually is pretty bright. That's how dark but... it was, like in here. Okay, so that's how dark it was. Okay, now. I think I'm gonna buy two new light bulbs because I feel like that one just is a little bit yellow. Like it doesn't look like it on camera, obviously, but don't you have one in your little lamp things? Yeah, but I'm going to buy more because I want those to be in the lamps, you know? So, we're going to buy two new, like, you nice white lamp. lights for that. What? And you're buying a lamp for your desk. Yeah, I kind of want to. Okay, oh my god, guys, I totally forgot the bathrooms. The bathrooms are all new, and actually, I think we have good lighting in here. I really wish I had before pictures, but this is the tile. Very nice, very nice. And then there's a fan in here, which is kind of interesting, but it makes sense because, you know, us girls get really hot when we're getting ready and stuff, which I don't even think I'll be getting ready in here, really, except like curling my hair, maybe. So that will be kind of helpful. So this is the bathroom. Beautiful toilet right there. We got some shelves right there. And then this is our new shower. Well, actually all of it's new. And this is the beautiful shower. Look at the tile. It's so nice. And we have like it literally looks like a nice hotel. Like, this is crazy. So the other bathrooms actually didn't have, like, drawers or anything under here. It just had, like, this, like, tabletop. So now we have some nice stuff over there. And then some drawers over here. I think that's Charlotte's because I remember her perfume. So we have some drawers and stuff. Yeah, I used to use that. And they have some drawers. And then that's our sweet mate's room. So now it is time to get unpacked and moved in. This is so weird. Charlotte's box. Superhero figurines. <laughs> Where are they at? Where are they at, Charlotte? <laughs> I'm kidding, it's probably like a reused box. <laughs> Hey 
Charlotte, you might not know this about Sonali, but she's in the shower. She's really mean. She's kind of smelly, messy. Okay, no, uh, she burps all the time. <laughs> Farts a lot. She's gonna talk to you in her sleep. Probably gonna throw things at you. <laughs> I'm so over his lies. You always lie. None of that is true. She cooks goat curry in her room and stinks everything up. Shut your clothes, you're gonna smell bad forever. Why don't I just throw them away and move out? Wait, no, I don't even eat Indian food. Look, a lizard. It's, it's in gosh. the window. <laughs> okay, we are gonna get started. Oh, Let's go. Side. It's not inside. Oh, shit. Hi there, little guy. It was him. He broke in. You're. Hey, oh, fuck, someone's here. <laughs> <laughs> We're making progress over here. This is such a big box. I feel like it's really heavy. Is it not? Mm -hmm. I had trouble getting it down the stairs, and he just picked it up with one hand. Because he's superhero. Okay, thank you. You put like four tops in it, dude. <laughs> I'm putting my first clothes in my closet. Maybe this way. Now it is time to decide about like the drawers. So I have two sets of drawers, one three drawer and two, and one two drawer. Um, and I think I'm probably gonna do my underwear and possibly t-shirts in the two drawer one and then just like put all my miscellaneous, like maybe food at the top and then like electronics at the bottom of my three drawer one. Cause the girl got a lot of those. So for anyone moving into college, moving in anywhere, these are really cool and I think they were actually kind of expensive. I feel like they were like $20 each. They only came with one. But I mean, they're kind of cool and they're called Ziploc Flexible Totes. Um, I may be wrong about the price, but they're really like um, deep and it holds a lot in it um, and it's like pretty sturdy. I feel like it's not gonna break on me. And I think it was definitely worth it because I can like reuse it obviously. And usually I just get like the really, really extra large, big um, plastic Ziploc bags that you can carry stuff in. But um, I, but I wanted to do this one this time because like whenever I have such heavy things in the bag, like the handles like just get really like worn out and like almost look like they're going to break. This I got at Target. These are really cool too. I actually bought this on Amazon. It's just like an underwear holder and it kind of got crazy. But like you just put your underwear in here. So you can like see it, like see the colors and stuff and just pull it out really easily. And it organizes it. Very nice, I love those. For my socks, this one's just like a little bit thinner. Actually like a lot thinner. But yeah, then I have all the, my socks over here and it's like kind of an overflowing. So I need to like reorganize these, honestly. Then I have some Spanx. I love me some Spanx. I have all my bras here. TBH, I like don't even wear all of these because I just use like the same bralette. Um, and then I have some more like bralettes and like bandos in here. So the underwear organizers and everything actually came with like these cardboard things that could um, like keep the shape, but I left those at home. So I guess we can't have those. So there's actually a little bit more room. Um, I'll probably just put like random things like maybe Spanx or something right there, but that's like a perfect fit. I love it. Change of plans. I'm actually gonna do my clothes in the three drawer one because I wanna do t-shirts, shorts, and underwear drawer, and then this one's gonna be like food and miscellaneous. <laughs> How do you feel to be rooming with me? Pretty good. I think this is a microphone. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a. Uh... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go. <laughs> so, we just got to Keep Smart. We're gonna get my headboards, which I'm pumped about, my mirror, and just like whatever else can fit on top. So, I need to like move my seats first. Oh, your seat needs to be up. Sorry, Rye. I think you survived. <laughs> you? So, if you thought there was a lot of stuff in my room before, I still have like so much shit. So 
So what's the if what's it's the, this? Literally, it might be perfect. Might, it might be might absolutely work. perfect for me to touch each other. <laughs> it better be. I'm I'm getting this, too hyped up now. Just see like feet, just like good morning. We're Ryan. <laughs> Shut up, please make it fit. No. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. It's literally this. There has to be a freaking way. Shut up! No way. There has to be a way. That's you can't. No, you can't. It's like part of the whole frame. It was literally just like. That's not okay. Three inches off. I'm so sad. <laughs> the moment so we've all been waiting for. We thought like when we were making them, Ryan was like, "These are way too small. Like, are you sure it's gonna like fit your bed? Like the width?" Yeah, it's like perfect. Yeah, it really is. Me and Charlotte did the measuring. Good morning, guys. It is August fifth, and today is another day of moving, and it is Ryan's last day with me. He's leaving tonight, but first we are gonna get coffee. Not for me, for Ryan. <laughs> but he had like a really good cup of coffee at like this place called Rustic Cafe, I think, in Winter Park one time. So he like really wants to go back. So we are going to go there. Oh yeah, and I didn't vlog it, but we actually went out last night and I left my phone in the Uber. Like my heart was broken when I like realized it was like not on me. So we tried tracking it and it's not like it was like turned off. Like if my phone got stolen, it would be like turned off. And I knew I had it like outside of like stagger, but it like was staying at this one place. And like the girl that like took us home was so nice. Like probably one of the sweetest Uber drivers I've ever had, honestly. So yeah, she took us home and I realized it like like 10 minutes after I got in and I immediately tracked my phone and it wasn't moving from this location so we were like okay like she couldn't already be home and like already be sleeping type thing like you know and it turns out like this morning she called us back and she was like sleeping and already home and we were like how what like she was like so peppy like she it sounded like she like literally drank a Red Bull to like get through the night type thing but anyways we are gonna meet her first and get my phone back What do you think? Good. It's like a like a sister fruit to lychee, I think. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh eat it, eat it. So plans changed a little bit. We actually went to the farmer's market instead of that coffee place he wanted to go to. Um, and I was so excited because they had kettle corn and we literally got two bags, two large bags because they go so fast. So first we went into the booth that had like little mini cacti and succulents and everything like that. I was gonna buy succulents anyway. And I was just like, okay, if these die, then I'll just buy like fake ones later on. But since we're like, you know, getting into the place, like might as well get some like nicer things. I don't know, like splurge well. $3. Yeah, I mean, but like <laughs> normally they're they're like a lot cheaper. I feel like like $1 yeah. each, I think. I've seen like a lot of places have $1, yeah. Anyways, so they were $3 each. The cactus was $5. It had little like pink prickly things. So I don't know, it was kind of cute. So I wanted to get it. And then we got some limeade at the lemonade stand. We only take cash, not cards. She didn't buy it. Take the first sip, it was a mouthful of like granulated sugar. <laughs> Literally like, like sugar. Off. Yeah. So it was good. So right when we found out that what the farmer's market was today, I was like, oh my god, we have to get 
me like flowers for my new room like I got this stem of hydrangea flowers and it lasted so long so I really wanted to get some and this time they only had them in like already made bouquets I didn't even really like the colors of the bouquets first of all so and they didn't sell them like separately which was sad because I just wanted like hydrangeas like white ones so Maybe I'll pick some up at like Walmart later or something like that. But right now we are on our way back to KD. We're gonna do a little bit more organizing and just like unpacking and stuff like that. And then we're gonna move on to the fun part of decorating my room. Are you excited? But should I like get like a toolbox? Should you buy a toolbox? Yeah. It wouldn't hurt, but you wouldn't put it. Yeah, that's true. Oops. I literally thought there was so much more space in that dorm, but. God help me. It's a lot. You have a lot of stuff. Yeah, I do have a lot of stuff. But I'm excited to get back and get unpacking because it was hard to like stop yesterday. Like I just wanted to keep on going and get things done, but it's all good. We'll get it all done today, hopefully. We are back in the room and it is a crazy, crazy mess right now. I think I have to get rid of like a good amount of stuff. I'm probably going to try to sell a lot of things like to my sorority sisters and if they don't want it, then on like a UCF page or something because like I've like three suitcases that like I don't need three suitcases they're all really nice though so I don't really like want to give them away but I'm not going home anytime soon like in a car I'm probably gonna fly so it's not like I'm gonna like just like bring an extra suitcase just to drop home so I don't know and then I have like a lot of hangers I accidentally actually bought hangers like nice ones with the little like things the hooks in them and I just found that I had extra hangers here and I had extra hangers from my home, but I bet somebody could probably use them in the house. Then I don't know where I'm gonna put this like dolly thing. I have no idea where I'm gonna store that. Maybe like behind my bed actually, cause I'm not gonna use it like until I like move out. So that could be somewhere for that. And then everything else, I'm just trying to slowly like process everything and like think about where everything should go because it's just so like overwhelming. Like there's literally no place to walk. Let's cross <laughs> Yeah, first try. Nice. We're putting our shelves up. Let's see. It's kind of like the same width. Okay, let's see the other one. Hey guys, so as you can tell, it is a different day. And it is actually September 14th. And this vlog was filmed on August 4th. I don't really have like real excuses to why I haven't been posting on YouTube lately other than that I'm like super lazy and yesterday was literally the first time I touched my tripod since I moved in so that can tell you something and I just feel like I don't really have like much motivation and I knew that would happen because when I moved into my off-campus apartment that also happened and it's kind of weird because in my last apartment it was like really ugly and I just didn't know where to film so that was my problem but here I have like such a cute room and I'm so excited to show it to you guys um but yeah it's so cute so I don't know why I wouldn't want to film in front of it but I needed to get like a tall stool because my bed is so high up so me and Laura literally made this chair yesterday it's so cool it's like our baby I'll have like a little before picture over here it's like insane we bought it at Goodwill and it's just so cool so that's gonna be my filming chair but I didn't really want to show you guys my full room just yet because I'm definitely 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 doing a room tour I love how it turned out i don't think i've ever had like a room that i actually love and i think i put like my heart and soul into this room and i think all the decorations just like flow so well together let me know if you guys want me to do like a q a or something about like living in sorority house because it is so much fun like i'm loving every second of it and i'm honestly dreading the day i have to move out i'll probably live here in my senior year to be honest so i have two years in this house but still i just like can't even imagine like what it would be without like all these girls around me all the time other than that like i said i want to do a room tour so please give this a thumbs up if you want to see it too it is super cute you guys just have to trust me i've tried to refrain from like posting anything on like instagram stories or snapchat it's been so hard but i just want like my room tour to be like the like first preview you guys see of it so that's it this vlog i know it was kind of long but I kind of wanted to just like pack in all the memories I could into like one vlog so I hope you guys don't mind that and before I go please leave any video requests down below and hopefully that will give me motivation to start filming again 
but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>